as you were finishing up your interview. Scorecards are what they are, epic fight, but if that's not a 10-8 round five for Yoel Romero, I'm not sure what is. It doesn't much make much. any sense. That doesn't make any sense. I don't understand that. I don't know who the judges were. I don't I don't want to know. I've said many, many times I think it's ridiculous that we have only three judges. I think we should have more, and I think they should be much better than they are. I thought a draw was a real possibility, and the fact that no one judges one, I found surprising. I thought that was a real possibility when you were heading into the Afghan. I thought it, there could easily have been two 10-8 rounds. Easily. For Round sure, one. For right. sure, one 10-8 round. So someone didn't score any of those 10-8. I feel... I feel like we saw an amazing fight, but I feel like I got screwed. Right. I, no, like I, we all, I feel like there's something missing here. Not that the, the, the decision couldn't possibly have gone to, to Robert Whitaker, but it's just like, that was the score. Like, no one gave Romero a 10-8. Right. That seems like that someone was round is, is When you say, what's a 10-8? Right. I show him a fifth round of that fight. Though, yeah, that's that a 10-8. That was, was, was virtually crazy. white belt. Joe Rogan, Ken Flo, Jimmy Smith, I agree with you all, man. Um, I have no debates for what you said, man. Um, the judging in MMA is piss poor, man. It's like judging in um, rap battles. Particularly, okay, let me give you a recent example, Pusha T and Drake, right? They start a beef that's been, you know, lingering for the past few years. Pusha T drops a, uh, a song named um, uh, Infrared, right? He, he's dissing Drake a bit. Drake comes back with a freestyle called Duppy, right? Um, really good freestyle. I'm not a Drake fan, never have been, never will, but that, that was a great freestyle, right? Then Pusha T comes back with a story of Adonis, right? The reason why I'm bringing this up is because each time Pusha came correct, each time Drake came, but only one time did he come correct. The second time he didn't even respond. Why I'm using this example, Drake in this scenario is, he's Robert Whittaker, right? He fought the fight, but when the fight came to him, he was knocked down. Same here. Yoel Romero is Pusha T in this scenario. Yoel Romero knocked down the Drake that is Robert Whittaker three or four times within, I think, it was the fifth round. Eh? Fourth or fifth round. I mean, let's be honest here. Besides who we favor, besides who we want to win, I'm going to be honest. I didn't want Kobe Covington to win. I wanted RDA to win. But Kobe Covington won. I gave him his props. Cool. I wanted Yoel Romero to win. Yet I am willing to say that Yoel Romero wasn't a perfect fighter in this fight. His wrestling was off. Clearly you could see it. Something was wrong with him the whole way through. Um, he, he used the same strategy that he used for the um, Rockhold fight here. He, he didn't initiate wrestling. When it was brought to him, he... You know, he reacted, but he didn't initiate any wrestling. It was almost as though if he was going to win this fight, it was only going to be via knockout. It's like he anticipated that, right? And again, he knocked down his opponent three different times. Three or four. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. But at what point do we address the fact that the judges in MMA really don't give a damn? They... I mean, on occasion, they judge boxing terribly, but MMA, it's always terrible. There's always something wrong with the scorecards, you know? I just wanted to know from the fans what you all think. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. This hit a spot, because Tucky says we supposed to set up shop here. Hmm? Hash time. Yeah, this is it. Set up anywhere inside where we got the white flags.